Okay, first of all, when we talk about files, all the files that we are talking about right now, they are text files. They are not binary files, which means when you see your data, you can actually open the file, look at the data, and understand what's going on. Okay? This is called text files. A text file reading and writing is mostly sequential. Okay? A binary file is not like that. The binary file, the content of file, is exactly like memory, which means if you are saving an integer over there, you are not saving 132. You are saving four bytes that contains a, an integer in it. So it means if you open a binary file and take a look at it, you won't understand anything of it. Okay? You are not learning that this semester. This semester, you are reading and writing from file only in text mode. Okay? You're essentially doing what you are doing with keyboard and monitor, but you're doing it to a file. Okay? So, I have heard that people were asking about binary files. That's why I cleared that. So, files that you are creating are text files as if you are printing on the monitor or you are reading from keyboard with no difference. So, essentially, we talked about files and I told you three different modes that you can open a file. You can open a file for reading, you can open a file for writing, you can open a file for appending. Reading is R. As you see, I have over here F open file name and file mode. They're both strings, right? So I can define them somewhere else. So I have character file name. I put 128 over there and I have a file name. And I have a file mode. I put three because I know there's maximum two. It's actually, let's make that four because it's actually maximum Three, not four, not uh, not two. So I'm going to put here four just in case if somebody asks the question and I have to explain. So I'm going to put over here four. Okay? <coughs> when you're opening a file for reading, file must exist. Otherwise, it will fail to open any type of reading. So whenever you see an R, file must already exist on your hard drive. If I run this program, I do not have data about txt on the hard drive in a current directory. Because I don't have that one, when I run this beautiful program of mine, what I'll see in the output will be could not open, could not open data.txt for R, for reading. Okay? Let's put something around it so uh, it actually emphasizes what we are dealing in here with. So I'm going to put double quotes around them so we can see. So essentially, the output's going to look like this. So could not open data.txt for R, for reading. All right? Are we okay with this? Now, <clears throat> there is another way of opening a file that is essentially R, W, and A, which means read, write, and append, but you can add the next thing to it which means you can say open for read or write at the same time. So in a file you can do reading, but you can write into it too. Whenever you want to add the other feature to it, you add a plus beside it. So if I want it for reading and writing, it becomes R+. plus. If I want to open for writing and reading, then it's got to be W+. Plus. If I want to open for append and reading, then it's going to be A+. plus. It cannot be append and writing because they're both the same, right? But so if append and write, we cannot have them both at the same time, okay? When you're opening a file for append, no matter what you do, it always adds to the end of the file. There's no way to do anything else. With write, you can actually go back and write anywhere you want in the file which in our case doesn't work because we are doing text files. Since we are, I'm going to do it and you'll see what's going to happen, okay? <coughs> a text file, when you open a text file, it actually looks like text, but you should never forget that it's, it, it is actually an array. So I have over here numbers.txt. So one, two, so you're saying you're, what you are seeing is one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it keeps going like that, right? But what exists on a file on your hard drive is actually something like 
something like something like this. So on file, what you have is essentially this. You have one new line, two new line, and it keeps going. It's one array of, of, uh, of character. There is no line. There is no new line anywhere. The new line is interpretation of your text editor that brings things to new lines. You're essentially 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It keeps going like that. Okay? It's, it's not like you have... New line is a single character. So whenever you write a new line, it means it's going to go to new line. But there is no... You don't have empty space in front of it. Which means if you overwrite this new line, one and two will come in one line. We'll do it, you'll see. Okay? So keep that in mind. Now, opening... So again, when you are opening anything that begins with R, that means... When you're opening anything that begins with R, that means it has to exist. And because data.txt doesn't ex okay. Because data.txt doesn't exist on the file when I actually on the uh, hard drive when I run this program, it's because it could not open data.txt for R. Okay? Now if I actually make it W or even R plus. I'm going to say read and write. I want to open it for read and write. If I run this, still it's not going to open it. Could not open that if I see for R plus. Okay? So it cannot open it. It doesn't, it's not there. But if I just open it with W once or with A, if it doesn't exist, it will create it. So if I run this, it's going to say data.txt is open for W. Okay, which means it's successful. And if I look at the hard drive, I'll see that I have a data.txt now. Now, if I go back to the previous thing that I have done, I put all over here and run it, it won't fail anymore. It will actually open it for, for reading. Anyone is okay with this, right? All right. So keep that in mind. Now, if I um, now uh, I'm going to copy the contents of number.txt that I have over here, so I'm going to copy everything over here and put it in data.txt. <clears throat> okay, now that it's open, and let me just write it like this. And I'll go to new line over here. And in here, I'm going to go to new line. Now, if I say I open it for R+, plus, OK? Now I'm going to say F scanf. So let's have uh, um, a character. Um, I'm going to call it SDR. And I'm going to put 80 characters in it. So in here, I'm going to say, F scanf from FPTR into the string <coughs> into the string so I'm going to say go uh, up to new line where's new line go up to new line okay and pass new line and I'm going to put it in the str. So I'm going to say printf str. That's the first read, read percent s. And I'm going to show the str. So if I run this program, it's it's pretty straightforward. What's going to happen? Essentially, what is going to be what's going to happen is this. Let me save this. Um, where am I?
data dot txt data dot. I want to have them both open so we see what we are dealing with here. So that is my data. Okay, and actually, let's let's have a. Um, yeah, that's good. So now, if I do this, say, so if I run this, what's going to happen? It's going to read the first one and it's going to show it, right? So if I run this program, this is what we're going to see. It's going to say SDR1 because it opened it for R+, plus for read and write, correct? Anybody have any problem with this? It reads the first one up to new line and stops. Anybody okay with this? Are we okay with this? All right. Now, if I read three times what's going to happen, I, I'm only printing once. So it's going to read one, two, and three is going to get printed. Because I read three, but only printed the last one, correct? Are we okay with this? Now, there is this, pro there is this function that you can rewind with. Long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, files were recorded on tapes. Those real tapes. Yeah. Have you seen those? Like, remember those? Like, I've okay. seen old movies. There's this reel of tape going through and they back and forth. Okay, it was recorded on those. So whenever they wanted to go back and read everything, they had to tell to the to that instrument, to that uh, tape recorder, to rewind, go back. Okay, so. The name is essentially that from dinosaur's time. So now I can actually rewind again. <coughs> so I can actually do this. Rewind FPTR. So I'm essentially telling it, go back. Okay? Now if I do this, It's going to read 1, 2, 3, print 3, it rewinds, goes back, again reads 1 and prints 1. So if I run this, as you see first it reads 3, because it, it reads 1 and 2 and then it prints the third one. Then it rewinds back, reads 1 and prints it. So that's what rewind does. Are we okay with this? And now what I'm going to do over here, right after this printf, I am going to do a write. So I'm going to say uh, f uh, printf into, because I open for read and write, correct? So I'm going to say fptr, and I am going to just put four asterisks. One, two, three, four. Okay? That's it. Are we okay with this? I want to see what happens. Look at the file and see what happens. So look what happens. I'm going to read 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to read 1, 2, 3. Print 3. Rewind back to 1. Read 1. And then put 4 asterisks in there. Simple as that. Are we okay with this? So I'm going to run this program. All right? So the output is the same, but when I close this and go back in here, did I do R plus? R plus, yes I did. Hmm. It did not write into it. It is supposed to write. I'm surprised. I thought that it's going to write into it. Did I just close it? Yes. I'll find out what's wrong with it, but anyways. Um, let's uh, open with... Uh, if I open W+, plus, it's going to overwrite it. Why didn't it write? Give me a second. Let me pause over here for a second. <coughs> 